Hello friends, this is Cold Run, back with Dragon Age Inquisition. I've been away for a little bit, um, just on a vacation, uh, and I am back. And I am looking at this beautiful message in the top right, Dragon Slain 1 out of 10. Ah, oh, that was a good session last time. That was a good victory, a good good session. So anyway, my first, my goal here uh, right now is just going to be to explore this little area down here where we fought um, the Ferelden Frostback. And I'll see if we see anything new. Um, this is new. It looks like the Ferelden Frostback used phaser transportation technology to hide some weeds in the ground. So that's neat. A bucket is just loot. Miniature mask and dual spike blade. Sweet. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is a whole new, uh, whole new thing. What's? What are you pointing me to? It read. Am I gonna have to go through the fire to read? Yeah, I am. Hastily scrawled note hung on a post. Stay away. Too many beasts. Go home to your families and live. Too many beasts. So this isn't talking about the dragon anymore. This is... Oh, sorry. All of you are... Your AI is putting you in the fire. Energize. What do you got, Vivian? Oh, you repaired the bridge. That's cool. Um... Is this leading? This is a whole new area. Uh, do I want to do this right now? I don't know that I do. The dwarves were clearly up to something. Oh, this is a dwarven ship. So this is is this the Carta again? I wonder. Read a list of supplies. A list of supplies for a great deal of lumber, along with rope, pulleys, tar nails, and waterproofing oils. It appears to be a list of items needed to construct a dock. That sounded like it probably would have been a good idea before the dragon ate everyone. What's on this ship? Ram leather, August ram leather. Oh, I get to loot by the by the group. Okay. Fade touched obsidian, masterwork metal on hit gain three. Go wow, wow, that seems like a good metal. Um. So this is just a little extra reward, I think, for killing the dragon. Um. Do we drown if we go into the water? I don't remember. Oh, that's a yes. Yes, we drown if we go into the water. So we picked up some dragon link scales, so I'm going to have to remember when we go to Haven to check in with the, um... Hey, did I... Do I have any new codices? I do. Code creatures. I forgot to check this. Um... Dragon. Oh, look at that. Look at that little... Dragons are a little bit like cats, but this one is hoarding tons of gold instead of, like, a box. A fully mature adult female dragon is a high dragon, the great monster of legend, the rarest of all dragon kind. These dragons hollow out massive lairs for themselves, for they need space to house their harem of drakes as well as their eggs and dragonlings. High dragons are seldom seen. I guess there's only ten of them. I'm guessing what that's what, like, all those ten on my quest log are high dragons, probably. They spend most of their time sleeping and mating. Not a bad life. Living off prey, their drakes bring back. Bring back. Also not a bad life. But once every hundred years or so, the high dragon prepares for clutching by emerging from her lair and taking wing. She will fly far and wide, eating hundreds of animals, most often livestock, over the course of a few weeks, leaving smoldering devastation in her we wake. She then returns to her lair to lay her eggs and will not again appear in the skies for another century. Oh, so that's a little bit sad that we we stopped another generation of dragons from being born because that means that she was she must have a lair somewhere and this is just like her. Um, this is her like this this is her preparing to lay eggs and not having successfully done so. So I think I've checked everywhere I can check for now in this area. Uh, the last thing I'm going to look for then is I'm going to take a trip back to Dusklight Camp 
just in case they have um, just in case they say anything now like oh you've killed the dragon here have have this rare Excalibur I found um, kind of doubt it sir. yeah nothing to report okay um, that's that was expected so next I'm gonna head back to Haven because um, I'm kind of done here for now I mean there's like especially once I get enough perks and to unlock some of those locked doors like those I'm looking at you locked doors um, then I'll definitely be back and I'm probably going to be back for other quests because there's this whole lake here and I feel like there's more stuff to do there um, but for now let's yeah let's head back to Haven Re regroup wait I still have a quest here journal dragon hunter no not that one that's a collection more than a quest. Interesting. How do I untick? There we go. Um, Hinterlands. Oh, there's still some more quests. Uh, the Watchtower quest. Still this one. Dang it. Um, fill the requisition. Okay. So where is this quest? It says it's marked on my map. Is it not marked on my map? Do I have to explore for it? I guess if you have any advice on that, then I'll take it. Because I'm not sure where whether to keep hunting for this. I remember I looked all over Valimar. Because Valimar, I think, was near where I picked it up. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, let me just take one last look at this. Nothing to report, sir. Find the spot marked on the map. Unless they mean on the map in the quest, but not the in-game map, because it's not marked on the in-game map. Um, journal. Depict The map depicts a bridge with four pillars and a waterfall under a tree. Four pillars and a waterfall under a tree. So maybe I just have to explore for this. Um... Yeah, a little bit of a treasure hunt, I guess. Um, I'm hoping this is in the Hinterlands, because they say it's in the Hinterlands, so it's reasonable to assume it's in the Hinterlands. So let's see if I can find this. So I'm going to check a few waterfalls, and I'll check back with you once I find something or nothing. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I should be looking for the bridge, because there's not that many bridges. Broken bridge. There's, there's broken bridge. Maybe I'll start there. Then there's the bridge leading to this place, but there, I don't think there's a waterfall there. But I know there's probably a waterfall like around there, and there's a bridge here. So let me check broken bridge. I think I'll have better luck than just, like, wandering. Dispatch for you. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Ooh, I just That's new. I just acquired I was just turning in a turning this thing in randomly, this uh requisition, but I got something new, I think. What is that? Hinterland's cage requisition. I need requisition needs more prisoner cages to house the growing number of captives. Gather Ferelden locks. I have no idea where I'd find a Ferelden lock. That's uh, I'll keep, that's interesting. I think I'll, I'll I will hold on to that. Whoa, the horse disappeared before my eyes. It's magic. Okay, so I'm at the broken bridge. This seems promising. This seems promising because I think it said. Um, what did it say? It depicts a bridge with four pillars and a waterfall under a tree. So this is a bridge, and these are four pillars. I mean, there's one, two, 
three, four. And the waterfall under a tree, though. That, that's the one I'm not as sure about, but let's head a little bit up the water and see if we can find it. Because that's the waterfall, and there's a tree above it. I mean, there's a tree right above This has got to be it. This has to be it. Maybe I'll just have to... F right. Actually, I forgot about this. Wasn't there a, um, a thing here? Let me dismount. I thought there was a thing here that I put off for later. No, don't dis don't right get right back on the horse. I know usually it's a good practice, like to get if you're ever in trouble to get right back on the horse, but not right then. Uh, no, god damn it! Oh, you made it. Nice job. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. This is the right place. Except I think I'm gonna have to go up. Because we looked before and it was like pinging and it's, you have to go in further. Yeah, so I think, okay, at least I know where to go now. So I have to get up there. What's the easiest way to get up there? I think... I'm actually not sure. How do I get up to that thing? Maybe I have to win my way up there? Yeah, let me let me look around a bit. I'll catch you up. I'll, I'll cut back in if, if I find something. So how do we get now from here up above the waterfall? Because that's the next... Is there a road here, or am I going to have to go higher? I'm probably going to have to go higher. I don't think this is enough. I'm going to need a long bath to get the Ferelden stink off. Oh, okay. There will be time for you to get your bath. There will be time for you to get your bath. <gasps> what did they find? What did they find? Loot! Iron bark. Oh. Oh, it's crafting material. Masterwork material gives a chance for critical crafting. Well, okay. That's fine. Mostly I'm happy that I found this. I thought I was going to have to even go up higher. Well, I'm glad I checked this little area. Um, let me just make sure. Does that actually clear the, uh, it does. That clears the quest. Okay. Now, no joking. It's time to go back to Haven. Back in Haven, back in my home. I will take these injury reports to Researcher Menave. Speaking of Researcher Menave. Giselle says we're losing fewer patients to fever thanks to your work. Good. The Maker is watching over us. All right. All right. So we removed, removed the dragon gland, um, and that probably means dragon lane. Yep. So completed the dragon lane research. Damage against dragons increased. I probably could have done that before he took on that dragon, but say la vie. Um, and I've gotten a little bit of progress towards the dragon uh, research, so that's good. So, what's the thing I need? Deft Hands Fine Tools. This is, I have a perk I can get. Deft Hands Fine Tools, this is the one I want. Um, tackle the most ingenious locking mechanisms. All rogues in the party to open masterwork locks. Yeah, this is one I want. So, collection of tier one herbs, that sounds terrible. That sounds like a really bad thing to spend a point on. But what else is there? Detailed studies on how to get all right, 10% had to get maximum usable harvest from each plant. 10% chance to receive extra herbs with each harvest. That sounds pretty good. Um, Eagle-eyed, training and spotting where the pattern breaks in nature or in civilization. Just that sounds like a cool ability. Significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. I don't know if I want that. Like, that sounds good, but it also sounds like it might... Like, when I see something is there, I really want to get it. And all of a sudden, if, I'm, if like, a million pings come up, that might actually annoy me. Bolster the number of researchers working to study those who stand against the Inquisition. An additional 50% XP for each foe studied, including those already completed. That's, I'm going to acquire that. That sounds really good. 50% XP for each foe study. What does a, f a study mean? 
I don't know, but it sounds good, and I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. Um, so I think we have, are these new one available, new available, build watchtowers, and celebrate the dragons. <gasps> this might be my little, okay, I'm definitely going to check that out. Anything in Orlay that I had brewing? Hunter Shade Dracolesque. This is going to be complete connections. I already did that. Okay, so we got some stuff going, and then there's also, of course, there's the, there's this thing, In Your Heart Shall Burn. That's the main quest one, which I'm going to do next. That's going to be the next main thing I do after I finish puttering around this place. Um, let's check this out one, because I feel good about that. Celebrating the Dragon Sling. Word has spread about the dragon the Inquisitor killed. A note passed by Josephine. Um, tell me you sent soldiers to collect the grisly remains. We have nobles clamoring to see the head up close. I should have anticipated this. Gawking is for peasants, but it becomes civilized when done with a glass of wine in one hand and a fan in the other. Bless you, Josephine. And another from Ferelden, signed Heron. Heron, I don't know that name. My associate Wade is known throughout Thetis for his talent at capturing the glory of the Draconic. In the armor he makes, the scarcity of dragon scale means that Wade is all too rarely afforded the chance to work in his chosen medium. But here's a solution. Wade shares his expertise with the Inquisition uh, in exchange for the dragon materials collected so far. So we have a couple of options then. Um, Josephine, let us set up the trophies you collected and put out the word. We're celebrating our dragon slayer. Fascinated nobles will do anything for an invitation. Wade and Heron are travelsome, but Wade's talent is, talent is undeniable. Send them whatever dragon materials we aren't using ourselves. <sighs> I really want dragon armor, and I really want to be celebrated, so. I'm gonna, <laughs> This seems like, so this is a clear reward. Like, you get some dragon stuff, but armor is tempting and awesome but it also is fleeting i wonder what this is this feels like more like experience that pushes towards something else uh, this feels i'm going to try this one At your service. thank you let's see what else we got here improve stability build watch towers oh this is the yeah let's try this one and this feels like one that um is going to be great for cullen um the refugees in the hinterlands face threats from bandits, demons, apostate mages, and Templar deserters. Building watchtowers in the area will help Inquisition forces ensure their safety of refugees and farmers. The appropriate building sites have already been marked. Um, Colin, my soldiers will have those towers up in short order. Yep, this feels appropriate for you. To work? To work. How much, did, how much time did they save for that? Uh, 41 minutes. Okay, good. Um... Scout the hinterlands, and then there's this. So we did that one, and what's this? Improve stability. Busy. The Inquisitor's efforts to close the Thade Rifts has increased stability in various regions across Thedas. However, demons sometimes remain, having wandered from the sites of the original rifts. The Inquisition has received numerous requests for aid in dealing with this problem. Why is that busy? I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm assuming it means that all of my people are out. But why is she out? Why is, um... No, because Liliana's not busy. Maybe it can only be completed by Cullen or by Josephine. Um, like, this seems like a Cullen mission, so maybe that's it. I don't know. And in Orlay, Hunter Shade Dracolisk. A researcher has been. Uh, a researcher has been. I'm looking at like who's who. This is generally meant for Josephine. A researcher has been examining everything known of the draconic species, and she believes that she has a way to flush out a creature that might serve as a as a mount, a dragon mount. Are you kidding me? The dracolisk is a rarely seen beast, wary, skittish, but hardy and powerful. Certainly not a standard addition to a stable, but by what? But in what other way has the Inquisition proven itself to be standard? Ooh. Ooh. 
Oof. Wow, I want this. Um, so I don't know why this is a Josephine mission. Let's see the Lord's properly paste and report well on the results. If you wish the Lord's placed, it will be done. Simple enough. Like, I'm going to do, I'm just going to sell it, send Galeana to this. I am worried. If this, if, if sending Liliana means I don't get the Dracolisk, don't get this cool mount, I don't know. The game is telling me that this is the right way to do it. No, I'm going to wait for Josephine. This seems too important. I don't want to, I don't want to mess that up, and I'm afraid that it will fail the mission or something, or that, I don't know, I'm afraid it'll fail the mission. Utilize the Grey Warden Treaties. Yeah, it's still busy, so this must mean that the person needed for it is is out. But let me actually let me check that out. The Inquisition is in its infancy. Building an organization that, such as this is like building an army. You need soldiers, weapons to arm them, food to feed them, and that's just the beginning. I joined knowing I could make a difference. I have Grey Warden treaties. These allow us to take what's needed when needed. We do not face a blight, but surely a torn sky warrants as much concern. Consider it Blackwall. Okay, so this is good. We got some stuff to do. We got some people out doing things. All good. I wanted to check if there's any songs being Thank sung you. of my Just awesomeness. Thank you for Your wish is something, something. <laughs> uh, no, I think I've already talked to her. If I need a lock picked. I was wondering if you could look at some locks for me. What, the doors under the chantry? <sighs> oh, I forgot You're about welcome. that. Places have doors. I just wasn't interested in poking through some sister's breeches. Good to know about you, though. Consider them open, yeah? Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you, Sarah. Let's check those out. Let's see what we got here. Got some stuff to read. Some loot. If I was I was really hoping that inside the loot would be some sister's breeches, but no luck. Let's check what we got. Read. The Black City. Oh, I love stuff about the Black City. No traveler to the Fade can fail to spot the Black City. It's one of the few constants of that ever-changing place. No matter where one might be, the city is visible. Always far off, for it seems that the only rule of fade geography in the fade is that all points are equidistant from the Black City. The chant teaches that the Black City was once the seat of the Maker, from whence he ruled the fade. Excuse me. Um, left empty when men turned away from him. Dreamers do not go there, nor do spirits. Even the most powerful uh, demons seem to avoid the place. It was golden and beautiful once, so the story goes, until a group of powerful magister lords from the Deventer Imperium devised a means of breaking in. When they did so, their presence defiled the city, turning it black, which was perhaps the least of their worries. And, right, and they were rumored to become the first um, darkspawn, right? From Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons by Enchanter Mirdramel. Andraste, Bride of the Maker. There was once a fishing, tiny fishing village on the Waking Sea that was set upon by the Deventer Imperium, which enslaved the villagers to be sold in the markets of Minrathus, leaving behind only the old and the infirm. One of the captives was the child Andraste. She was raised in slavery in a foreign land. She escaped, then made the long journey and treacherous journey back to her homeland alone. She rose from nothing to be the wife of an Alamari warlord. Each day she sang to the gods, asking them to help her people who remained slaves in Tevinter. The false gods of the mountains and the winds did not answer her, but the true god did. The maker spoke. He showed her all the works of his hand, the fade, the world, and all the creatures therein. He showed her how men had forgotten him, lavishing devotion upon mute idols and demons, and how he had left them to their fate, but her voice had reached him, and so captivated him that he offered her a place at his side, that she might rule all of creation. But Andraste would not forsake her people. 
She begged the maker to return to save his children from the cruelty of the Imperium. Reluctantly, the maker agreed to give man another chance. Andraste went back to her husband, Mavarath, the betrayer, and told him all that they, uh, all that the maker had revealed to her. Together, they rallied the Alamari and marched forth against the mage lords of the Imperium, and the maker was with them. The maker's sword was creation itself, fire and flood, famine and earthquake. Everywhere they went, Andraste sang to the people of the maker, and they heard her. The ranks of Andraste's followers grew until they were a vast tide washing over the Imperium, and when Mavarath saw that the people loved Andraste and not him, a worm grew within his heart gnawing upon it. At last, the armies of Andraste and Mavarath stood before the very gates of Minrathus, Minrathus, Rathus, Rathus, but Andraste was not with them, for Mavarath had schemed in secret to hand Andraste over to the Deventer. Um, maybe. Maybe oh, we've seen in other texts that this might be uh, not quite the truth. Um, or maybe it was in that she had more reasons. I'm not sure. I remember there's something complicating this. Um, for this, the Archon would give Mavarath all the lands to the south of the Waking Sea. And so before all the armies of the Alamari and of Tevinter, Andraste was tied to a stake and burned while her earthly husband turned his armies aside and did nothing, for his heart had been devoured. But as he watched the pyre, the Archon softened. He took pity on Andraste and drew his sword and granted her the mercy of a quick death. Good. Burning is horrific. Um, the Maker wept for his beloved, cursed Mavarath, cursed mankind for their betrayal, and returned once again from creation, taking only Andraste with him. Our Lady still sits at his side, where she still urges him to take pity on his children from the sermons of Justinia II. And we got, ooh, another book, yes. Scroll, this looks like. The Disciples of Andraste. The Disciples of Andraste are unique in all of history. The cult preceded the Chantry and kept itself so hidden and isolated that it actually survived to modern day. Is this the, yeah, this is the dragon cult. The Disciples made their home high in the Frostback Mountains in a village called Haven, which is now a sanctuary for pilgrims of the Chantry. It is understood that the Disciples were descendants of the first followers of Andraste who brought her ashes to Ferelden and built the temple to house it. Because they had pledged themselves to the keeping of the Temple of Sacred Ashes, the disciples of Andraste never left the Frostbacks. For 900 years they kept strangers away, killing all who came close, and were completely oblivious to the world that advanced beyond the boundaries of their home. Having developed separately from the traditions of the Andraste Enchantry, the disciples were led by revered fathers interesting. However, little else is known about the original beliefs of the disciples, for they had turned from their noble heritage by the time they were discovered. Almost all scholars believe that the centuries-long isolation imposed upon the village led to the necessity for inbreeding, and this practice likely led to a greater incidence of madness, which may explain what the cult was at the time of its discovery in 930, worshipping a high dragon. I mean, I think it's more like less likely that it's inbreeding, and more likely that like any group that's any cult especially a religious group that's isolated with a single purpose for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years like worshiping a high dragon is probably not like unusual um, according to the writings in haven discovered in haven the disciples of andraste showed reverence to the dragon believing it to be the prophet reborn the egg clutches and dragon links of the dragon were for the great honor for being andraste's offspring and were cared for by the cult. The dragon never attacked the cult, being cunning enough to recognize how this arrangement benefited it. In 930 Dragon, the disciples were wiped out by the hero of Ferelden, who was on a quest to retrieve the sacred ashes of Andraste. From before Andrasteanism, The Forgotten Faiths by Sister Rondwin of Tantervale. That's a new author. Let's see what else she unlocked here. Once she just comes in, uh, oh, trying to loot. Alfred Spindleweed, okay, okay. Um, nothing, just a couple of, couple of rolls, of bed rolls, prisoner bed rolls. Read. Misplaced notes, notes written by one of the scholars responsible for storing Haven. The notes have obviously come from, loose from a ledger of some sort. 
took weeks of scrubbing blood stains from the stone. One of two things is true. Either the stone is more porous than I thought, or maker's beard. There must have been a lot of blood. How many people died? I'm so relieved I didn't have to deal with the altars of sacrifice the first arrivals found. Those were tossed off a cliff, I think. So now we just have to deal with the stains on the walls and floors. If this doesn't clean up in a day or two, I'm asking for some fresh plaster. Maybe we can cover them up. Yeah, this must have been pretty gross for the disciples of Andraste. Um, still, it's not all bad. Haven is a beautiful place, and while working in the dungeons, we found scraps of paper with writing that looked like Brother Ferdinand Genetides. He was held here for weeks before the hero of Ferelden found him. I vaguely remember that guy and the quest we found him for him. Um, I can't. I was going to try to attack the boxes, but I can't. Did you hear something? Maybe not. No, I know probably nothing. Okay, so that was some some neat little pieces we found there. Thank you, Sarah, for showing us the way, for unlocking all that. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for now. Um, thank you for watching. I think um, next time I'm going to... Yeah, next time I'm going to, probably mostly off camera, I'm going to uh, stop by the blacksmith, see if I want to... You know, add an ability point and Wait, sell some stuff. And okay. Um, the dangers of fame. Yeah, I want to see if I can just b sell some stuff and craft some new armor and just... Oh, and the other thing I'm going to do, and I'll probably do this more on camera, is I'll... I'm going to... I remember there was an item that you can get from them that let you, like, reuse your points. I'm going to do that for Sarah to turn her into a dagger user um, from a bow user. So, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.